Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. We are from group 11 which consists of Muhammad Fazli Baharudin, Ronaldo Ulisi and me myself Nur Ali Shahira Binti Ashari and Ahmad Amirul Shahni Binti Tajuddin. We will presenting our assignment to regarding the topic of accounting system. So, this presentation will cover four main part which is starting from the introduction, questions and solution for question 1 and 2, discussion and conclusion which related to answer for question 2 and finally the list of references used is also listed. First and foremost, accounting system is a set of accounting process with integrated procedure and control which the goal is to keep track of business transactions and aggregate them into the reports. It's basically manage the income, expenses, and funding. So in this assignment, the related questions regarding the topic of basic financial segment, cost behavior, and preparing budgets are solved. So this is question one. AISB is a company that manufactures and supplies clean water piping and storage in Kelantan. So the following information relates to AISB as at 1 January 2021. And the following transactions or events occurred during the year. So the question asks us to prepare general entry relating to the transactions or events noted. So this is the general entry. We have first the return earnings. It is debited and the cash is credited. This is because return earnings are the revenue and since it is decreasing, it will be debited and since cash is our asset and it is decreasing then it is credited next we have interest on notes it is debited and the cash account is credited this is because the interest on notes are four percent from one hundred thousand ringgit next we have the insurance account it is debited while the cash account is credited as we paid annual insurance for plant and equipment the depreciation account is debited as the accumulated depreciation account is credited. The account reservable is credited, is debited as the sales account is credited. As we sold 1,200 units of inventory at 350 ringgit per unit. And then the accounts payable is debited and the cash account is credited as we made payments to creditors. Next, cash account is debited and the account receivable is credited as we receive payments from customer. Due to the purchase of artwork for meeting room, the artwork account is debited and cash account is credited. Next, we have incurred expenses involving manufacturing processes. We have overdraft account is credited and the full-time factory line employees cost, consultant fees and raw materials are debited. Commission account is debited and the overdraft account is credited as we have sales commission of 10% per unit sold. And finally, for the fixed administration salaries, the administration account is debited and the cash account is credited. So next, the question asks us to prepare an income statement for the current year and the income statement can be seen as follows. It has a total amount of 451,200 ringgit and 170,200 ringgit. Moving on to sub question C uh, for question 1 which is uh, the question asks to prepare a balance sheet for AISB company. So the title for this uh, balance sheet which is Aras Infinity Scenario Hard Statement of Financial Position at the end of 31 December 2021. So balance sheet actually is a summary for the financial position for AISB company. So we know that a uh, balance sheet is divided into three categories. Uh, we have the asset, we have the stockholders equity and the liabilities. So for AISB company, the non-current asset is land and equipment which is cost 18,000 and have a uh, accumulated depreciation which is 14,250 and the net book value is 3,750 we obtain from uh, minus the cost and the accumulated depreciation value. 
and next is the pattern pattern value is 15000 and the output value is 30000 so the total for non current asset is 21750 ringgit and next for the current asset of this company which is the account receivable account receivable is the amount of money that need to be paid to the company is total uh, 466000 and the stock value which is 31200 ringgit and the cash value which is 11000 and total up for the for all of the current asset value which is 500 8200 ringgit so total of the of the asset value for AISP company is 529,950 ringgit and next for the stockholders equity for this company we have a capital value which is 20,000 20, and the return earning which is 77,950 ringgit so total for the stockholders equity is 97,950 ringgit and for the liabilities also divided into two non-current liabilities and current liabilities for the non-current liabilities is only for the notes payable which is the amount of 100,000 and the current liabilities value is account payable which is cost up to 10,000 and the overdraft value which is 322,000 and total for the current liabilities is 332,000 so total up uh, all the stockholders equity and the liabilities is 529,950 ringgit so we can see that uh, the value for the asset uh, is equal to the total of equity and liabilities as we know that asset value is equal to liabilities plus with the stockholders equity next we moving on to the sub question d the question asks to calculate the contribution margin per unit and we need to justify the answer that we get uh, so the contribution margin per unit formula is sales price unit minus the variable cost per unit or the total sales price minus the total variable cost variable cost divided by the total unit so the total sell, sales price is 420,000 because the total amount of unit sell uh, for one year for this company is 1,200 ringgit a one one thousand two hundred unit and the total variable cost equal is the manufacturing cost plus the insurance cost plus the interest so total of the variable cost is three hundred and seventeen thousand ringgit so we find the contribution uh, per unit value by uh, minus the sales price per unit with the variable cost and divide by one thousand and two hundred unit so we obtain the contribution margin per unit value is 85 ringgit point 83 cent so as a conclusion the contribution margin per unit is 83.85 which is quite high and good for the company so company can generate a good profit with this uh, contribution margin next the last uh, question which is to calculate the break even unit and we need to elaborate our answer so the formula to obtain the break even unit is fixed cost divide the divide by the contribution per unit we know that fixed cost equal the fixed administrative overhead plus the depreciation value so the fixed administrative overhead is 45000 plus with the depreciation value 4250 equal 49250 ringgit so we get the break even sell value is 574 units so what actually this 574 units it is a condition where the company have no profit and no loss where the total production revenue is equal to the total production cost so to get a profit from the product company need to exit 574 sales so that's all thank you moving on to the second question where it's all about kamaluddin budgeting and the total asset so basically, Kamaluddin income come from part time from Visa Art, from private scholarship, and from loan. As information, um, during critical week, study week, final exam, he not going to work, and also in each week, he has around a one day off, and also we provide seven day emergency leave along the years. So the total income for Kamaluddin is 13,400. 
and 62 ringgit and 9 cent. As for the rental house, we decide to put him at Tower B with average rental uh, RM 1,600 ringgit per house, but uh, he joined with his friend, sharing with his friend, with at, at friends, so around uh, 200 ringgit in a month. Why Tower B? Because Tower B is very strategic, because near with the faculties, FKJ, and also near near with the Pizza Hut at one morning. Next, for the cost of car usage, uh, he need to pay for insurance, tax, and the fuel consumption. By the way, uh, Kamaluddin need going back to his hometown um, twice in a month. So the total distance from um, Kota Kinabalu to Pitas is 159.1 kilometers and uh, assume Kamaluddin going to faculty six days in a week. So the total distance from um, Tawabi to faculties uh, 4.8 kilometers. As information, um, we decide to use row 95 um, with price 2 ringgit and 5 cent per liter. And then uh, for Axia, fuel consumption is 16, uh, 16 kilometer per liter. So the total cost uh, for the car is 2,600 at the 7 ringgit and 97 cent. Uh, last but not least, we also do budgeting on the food, utilities, um, utilities bill, university expenses, cloth, entertainment, and others. We assume in a year they are to semester, so he need to pay for it. So for food, we decided to put 350 per month so he can uh, reduce the cost by uh, cooking at home. And for the utilities bill, such as electric bills, water bills, gas bills, so he can share with his housemates so they can set the costs. For internet bills, we plan for use the U-Mobile because it is not expensive because the cost only 35 ringgit per month with unlimited data. In terms of shopping, he can go shopping twice in the year. So um, one time per semester with 300 ringgit per shopping. And for entertainment, we plan for visiting island in Sabah such as Mamutik, uh, Sapi, and Manukan. The second one is Mekadina, and then the third one is movie time. The next um, costing is for emergency cost. Em emergency cost is very important because uh, we not expect uh, sudden things happen. So we provide emergency cost. That's all. So after computing the income statement, fixed expenses, variable expenses, the budget balance sheet for Kamaluddin's case study is calculated using the formula of income or assets minus fixed expenses minus variable expenses, which the total get is about 25 ringgit and 82 cent. So, moving on to the third part, which will cover a discussion and conclusion from the Kamaluddin's budget. According to the result obtained in Part A, there are several reasonable assumptions or suggestions that has been made in preparing a one-year budget for Kamaluddin. First is the suggestion given for the rental house is at Tower B Condominium, One Borneo. Kamaluddin actually can stay with his friends by only having to pay as much as 200 ringgit per month. Plus, Tower B is one of the strategic places because it is close to UMS and easy for Kamaluddin to go to work doing his part-time job at Pizza Hut, One Borneo. Next, regarding the cost of car usage, it is involved the cost driver of car insurance, road tax and amount of petrol consumption. It is important to always consider the distance from Kamaluddin's rental house to UMS and his hometown at Pitas. This is because uh, Kamaluddin needs to go back to his hometown uh, for second and fourth week every month. The total cost per year for the car usage is about 287 ringgit and 97 cent, more than the cost of rental house per year. 
Finally, the budget balance sheet is computed, where this is the ending step in preparing a budget for Kamaludin case, and it is important things to do as it helps to identify whether the prepared budget is well planned, under or over applied budget. So to conclude, the prepared budget planning for Kamaludin is quite okay, since the total expenses is less than his total income. A final balance cut is about twenty-five ringgit and eighty-two cent, and it is can be categorized as under applied budget. Thank you everyone. So this is the list of references in completing this assignment. And again, thank you to our lecturer IR Azri.